Task number three, placement of ligating loop. For this exercise, you're given one locking grasper and then the loop and a pair of scissors. The ligating loop must be placed onto the target within one millimeter of accuracy of the indicated line, as will be shown in the exercise demonstration. The time for the exercise starts once the instruments enter the field of view and ends as soon as the end of loop stitch is cut. The average time to completion is 53 seconds. The only pointer that can be given for uh, improving your performance on this test is that although the SAGES website indicates that the end of loop can be deployed with either a one hand or two hand technique, we recommend that you practice deploying the loop with a one hand technique from the start as the other hand will be used to control the grasper while the dominant hand is used to tighten the loop on the target. Task number three, the ligating loop. For this task, you're given a locking grasper, one loop, and the uh, stitch will be cut with a pair of scissors at the end of the exercise. The goal here is to place the ligating loop on the target structure within one millimeter of accuracy of the black line. The loop can be tightened with either one hand or two hand technique but we recommend that you practice tightening it with one hand so that the other hand maintains control of the locking grasper. Once you have advanced the loop close to the structure, you can break the end of the loop to begin the tightening. A smaller loop may be easier to place around the target structure. We recommend that you line the loop up with the target and then hold upward tension and use a one hand technique to bring the loop down onto the target. At this point, remove your locking grasper, switch to the scissors, and cut the stitch with your non-dominant hand. At this point the exercise is complete. Time for this exercise starts when your instruments enter the field of view and the time ends when the stitch is cut. The average time for this exercise is 53 seconds.